Good morning, everybody. Let's get this party started. So to start today's workout, we are going to just do a little open the gate, close the gate. So here we go. We're going to open the gate. We're going to close the gate. We are going to try something a little different today. I have shortened the number of exercises that we're going to do. We are going to only do eight exercises, but we're going to do five sets. So it's going to be quick. We're going to feel like you just work out for about five or six minutes each, but it's we're going to do five rounds of it. So we're still going to do the same amount of time in that workout, but we're going to have the ability to push ourselves a little bit differently. All right, let's take that to a little side to side run, shall we? So I've chosen some exercises that um, that you will be able to uh, kind of get a whole body workout and still feel like um, you are hitting everything even though we've got it a little bit divvy up differently. All right, let's change that to a little toe touch into a sit to a hands up stand up. Perfect, toe touch, sit, hands up, stand up. Good job, toe touch, sit, hands up, stand up. One more time, toe touch, Sit, hands up, stand up. All right, let's get some knee hugs. So as we go through this workout, uh, we are going to start off with some band pull-aparts. So that's where we take the band and we pull it apart. You can do a double band. If you don't have one that's strong enough to make it hard, you can just do back rows. Uh, if you don't have a band at all, you can do eyes, wise, and T's. I'm gonna change this to a toe grab. Then we're gonna do a lunge, lunge, squat. So I'm gonna hit all the angles of my legs. Then we're gonna do a band overhead press. We're gonna hop down into a V-sit. We're gonna stay on the floor and do some push-ups. Then we're gonna stand back up, do some single step walkouts, where we do a step out and come back in. Uh, if that's not a great move for you because you don't have something to do it with, just do a side plank. Uh, and then some skater hops, just to kind of end it off. So. 30 seconds each, 12 seconds rest. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, eight moves. Okay, and in those eight moves, um, so it's gonna be about four and a half, five minutes each. Plow, 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 plow. Make it nice and challenging. Get right into it. Uh, take a quick break to gather up all those things that you need, and we'll get started in just 30 seconds. So I've got my timer set for 30 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. I'm gonna grab a medium band. I'm gonna hold the band with my palms up, and I'm gonna pull apart. It's just literally as simple as that. Ready, set, here we go. So, as I grab my band, I'm gonna hold it in the middle and I'm gonna try and rip it apart. Now, again, if you have an anchor point and you wanna do some back rows to make this a little bit more challenging of a workout for you, that's fine. If I wanted to make it a little bit harder, I would grab both ends and I would pull like so. I want you to notice my palms are facing the ceiling. So, you wanna make sure that that's an important part of this move. As we spread them out, three, two, one, I'm gonna lose those bands, and I'm gonna do what's called a lunge, lunge, squat. Now, an important factor in the lunge, lunge, squat is that our feet are shoulder width apart the whole time. Ready, let's go. So I lunge, and I stay wide. I lunge, and I stay wide, and I do a squat. Now, if I wanted to go back lunge, back lunge into a squat, that's fine. If I had any knee issues, I could very easily just do squats. It doesn't really matter, but you've heard me say this before and I'll say it again. We need to keep our body weight on our heels. Our heels are where we keep the joint out of the move and make the muscles do the work in the lunge and the squat. I'm gonna finish this one up and I'm gonna go to a band overhead press. I'm gonna stick with my middle band, okay? If you have a light band, you might have to stand on it with two feet. Here we go. And we're going straight up. Now, as I do this, my knuckles are facing the sky. I'm choosing a neutral grip, which is palms in. But I could choose a standard grip, which is hands out. Now, I'm a big fan of doing moves like this because as we do the workout, you will notice that we really use a lot of the shoulder girdle here. Nice job. Four. Three, two, and one. Perfect. Now, we're gonna hop down on the floor and we're gonna show that V-sit. As we do, I'll show it at an angle. Make sure that as you get into position, most of you should start with your hands behind your knees. 
Your chest should be up and you should be back and holding yourself. Okay? Now, from here, I can make it harder by putting my hands across my chest. From here, I can make it harder by putting my hands above my head and lengthening my legs a little bit more. I'm trying to keep my feet off the floor the whole time. I'm making sure my back is flat. There's no rounding. I'm nice and flat and my legs are out. Four, three, two, one. So oftentimes here, we're doing a push-up. I like to show the easier versions in the small rounds. So I'm gonna show this on my knees. I'm gonna show it at an angle, but you can always do this up against a wall or up against a bed. As I'm doing these, I don't have to go fast, but I do have to keep my butt down. I do have to keep my chest up. I do want to push my shoulders down into my armpits. I do want to keep the crease of my elbows pointing towards my eyes. I'm going down and up for five more seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one, and we're done with push-ups. Now, I'm going to grab that band again, and as I grab that band, I am going to pull straight out, and I am going to take a step and come back in. Take a step and come back in. My arms are completely straight. Notice how my hands are directly out in front of my chest. So I have a logo on my shirt today. I'm keep, you can't see my logo at home because my hands are directly out in front. Now when I switch to the side view, you're gonna be able to see that I am going to keep my elbows locked out. Now, that doesn't mean that they're completely hyperextended. It just means they're soft. So, as I go to my side view, you're gonna see how far out my hands are. Ready, set, begin. Step out, step back. Step out, step back. Notice how I'm staying really tall and my arm on the outside, I'm stepping away, is doing most of the pulling. My inside arm is bracing. It doesn't grab the other hand. It just acts as like a blade, just as a brace. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. All right. So I'm going to put that down, and my last move is going to be skater hops. You can jog in place. You can jump rope. You can do mountain climbers. You can do burpees. You can do up downs. But for today, I just want to get my heart rate up with no toys, moving myself, keep going. Good, my arms are active. I'm not bailing on them. Go, 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 I'm using them. So it's not like my hands are, I'm all crunched up. And I'm taking big jumping steps, 10 seconds left. Come on, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven. All right, I said it was Fast and Furious. That's what we're gonna call this. Or maybe we'll call it the, uh, the Fast Eight or something. But eight moves. In those eight moves, we are pushing it. We're gonna go hard, and we're only gonna take like a one minute or 90 second break. So, get your water, get your towel. Let's get ready to go another round. We are ready for round two. Remember, we're gonna do five rounds today. Five rounds. So you gotta be ready to just pump these out. Uh, now, the only thing I'm gonna, well, I'll change a few things in this. So, band pull aparts. I just wanna show that you have an option if you wanna do back rows and you have an anchor point. We're gonna go in three, two, one. Here we go. So, if I wanted to make these a little bit harder, I could always just do back rows, okay? If you have weights, use them, okay? You don't have to do everything we do exactly, okay? I'm gonna make it a little harder by stepping a little further away. Notice how I'm really pulling these out. I'm really getting the most out of this move. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so throw that band out of the way. I've got some weights here. Maybe you do too. I'm gonna do that lunge, lunge, squat again. Feet shoulder width apart, chest up, and we begin. And as we go through, you guys will see that 
Your weight is on your heels. You're getting full extension. I'm gonna try and show it from the side. So, long lunge, 90 degree angles. 90 degree angles. Squat. Long and lean, knee over hip, or hip over knee. You get the idea. One more good one, come on. Let's go, let's go. All right, band overhead presses. Now, if I had some heavier weights, I might choose that. I'm gonna stick with my red band. Three, two, one. Here we go. Straight up, really pushing through. Okay, keeping those elbows in. Those shoulders are jammed into your pockets. That means that they're not up here. Okay, you shouldn't have a double chin. It can be nice and wide. You can go a little faster. You can push hard, let's go. Come on, finish. Do your best work right now. Come on, it's important. Three, two, one, nice. All right, V-sit. Everything's quick, right? We're moving fast. <clears throat> Back into position. I always like to start here, get myself solid, then I can add the hardness. The hardness meaning the more challenging version, okay? You can add arms up, but you can put your feet on the floor if you've got a bad lower back problem. You can just keep holding on if that's too hard for you. 10 seconds, come on, let's go. You can do this. Now, on this next one, we're gonna do push-ups. Maybe you're not great at push-ups, so I'm gonna show a quick chest press just in case you have that anchor point. But we are gonna do chest presses in a couple of workouts so in the future, so I wanna make sure we have a lot of variety. But if this is what you got, this is what you do, okay? Now you could be doing push-ups, that's what the workout calls for, and that's great, and that's what we want. We want you to do the best version of what works for you. But I wanted to show a little variety, just in case. Here we go, almost done. I can't see the timer because it's behind me, but that doesn't mean we don't keep going. Come on, keep pushing, keep driving. There we go, very nice. All right, so that becomes a single step walkout. So I can't use that crazy band, it would be too much, all right? Pushing my shoulders down and back, big step out, big step back, big step out, big step back. Big moves, shoulder blades down. <coughs> really pushing yourself, good. Notice this hand, this outside hand, in this case my right hand is doing all the pulling. Now what you do is just making sure that the one furthest away from the anchor point. You might be doing a side plank, that's okay. Side planks work too. Come on, push. Uh. All right, nice. So here we go. We're gonna go to the other side. Gotta work both sides of the body. We'll begin in three, two, one. Really starting to get a sweat on. Come on, let's go. Notice how hard I'm working to keep my head stretched to the sky. I'm taking a reasonably large step. Really trying to keep a wide stance, keeping those elbows straight out in front of me. Those hands right in front of your logo. Five seconds. Come on, four, three, two, and one. Excellent job. We've got one more move. We gotta do those skater hops. Okay, here we go. Time to get it done. Get those weights out of the way. Ready, set, let's go. Big steps, big moves. Come on, push it out, push it out, come on. You guys can do this. Shuttle runs, I didn't throw that one in. Okay, you could do that. You could fake jump rope. Nice, come on. Let's go, 10 seconds. Big movement, jumping jacks, didn't throw that one in. Lots of options, okay? But we want you to do something because I want your heart rate up. Three, two, one. Nice job, I like it, I like it, I like it. All right, everybody, time for some round three action. Round three. So that means we are gonna pump it up, we're gonna work a little bit harder, we're gonna do our best. We're gonna start with some band pull-aparts. 
I'm going to show the real version this time. <clears throat> I'm going to use a heavier band. Okay, remember you can do back rows. I showed those last time. 30 seconds work. We're going in three, two, one. Here we go. So, big pull. All right. Again, if you don't have a band, um, I would do eyes wide and T's. Okay. This way you have some mobility work to do. Okay. We're doing that big pull out. Our palms are to the sky. We're really feeling like our neck is not doing the work. Okay. Our our mid back and shoulder blades are doing all the work here. Three, two, one. All right. So round three, I'm going to stay with the basics. Okay. Wide stance, lunge, lunge, squat. Okay. Maybe I try and go just a smidge faster if I want to up my game a little bit. Try and push myself a little bit harder. Good. Getting down and dirty. Here we go. Push. Push. Good. I'm really staying off my toes. Because if I put my weight on my toes, then the joint has to do the work. And then all that booty work, all that glute work, all that, what we would say is posterior chain work is being missed. So stay off those toes. Good. Here we go, here we go, come on. Let's go. Down and up. Awesome job. All right. I'm gonna try a heavier band. Give myself a little push, okay? We're gonna go to overhead press. Middle of round three, ready? Here we go, straight up. Well, I'm feeling those right off the bat. I definitely feel my shoulders kicking in because that's what we're trying to work. I'm using a new, uh, excuse me, a standard grip this time, not neutral, pushing hard. Good, really getting up there, come on. Pull those ribs in, really tighten that core, okay? Feel like your abs, have to solidify before you make every press. Good. All right, hopping down on the floor. We're going to get into that V-sit mode. Okay? So whatever that means for you. Okay? Another way we can do this, we can be here, we can turn it into a little bit of a flutter kick. Some people like that. A little bit of a jack kick. Okay? Some people just need to be engaged and then they don't think about it. Legs are still long, chest is up, Shoulders are back, okay? Now, this is like an old military style. My back is as flat as a board. My head is in alignment with my shoulders. My shoulders are in alignment with my spine. And I'm just still working hard. Three, two, one. All right, I showed chest press. I showed kneeling push-ups. Time for some military push-ups. I like to keep my hands not too wide, not too close, right in the middle. I'm gonna put my hands down, point my elbows back, Point my creases of my wrists, excuse me, creases of my elbows towards my eyes, making sure I'm going down and up. I don't have to bang out 100. I just have to do solid ones. And I have to make sure I'm not using my neck. So I have to go smooth and controlled. My fingertips are turning white. I'm gripping the ground. That's how hard I'm going. Three, two, one. All right, nice job. Single step walkouts. Here we go. We are set up, okay? We are going to do outside hand grabs. Big step, come back in. Big step, come back in. Here we go. Come on, nice job. Good, good, good. Shoulder blades back, push it straight down. You're doing a side pipe maybe? That's okay. That's a good one, okay? Maybe you don't have the best anchor point, that's all right. Okay, there's plenty of, uh, plenty of ways to skin this cat. Come on, let's go, four, three, two, one. Nice, all right, other side. Nice job, nice job. All right, we're gonna work really hard. We're gonna keep our body solid. So really, lower those shoulders right now, push those rib cage bones all the way towards your spine. Keep those arms straight. Really feel like as you do this, your neck and shoulders are not doing the work, but your core is. If you play tennis, if you play golf, heck, even if you water ski, there's tons of reasons why you need this anti-rotation work. And that's exactly what we're working on right here. We're fighting the band so that we don't rotate. All right, time for a little bit of 
skater hops again. Okay, remember, if skater hops are not your friend, pick something else. Let's go, here we go. But you gotta do something to get your heart rate up. Come on, I have faith in you. I know you can do it. We got this. Go, go, go. 20 seconds, 10 seconds down, 20 to go, come on. Halfway, come on, give it everything you got. Strong push, keep going, 10 seconds. Good, almost done, almost done. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, all right. Again, fast and furious. We're over the hump, we've done three rounds, but we still have two to go. So get your mind right, okay, get your head in the game. You gotta have two left. We're not gonna be done after four. I know you're used to that. Some, some of you are used to being done now. Not gonna happen today. So, take a break, grab your water. We'll take a two minute break. See you in a minute. All right, everybody. Band pull-aparts, back rows, you name it, we're doing it, okay? I'm gonna get my band, <clears throat> I'm gonna get our timer going in three, two, one. Let's do this. Band pull-aparts, round four, come on. You got this, okay? First thing you should do is feel like you pull your shoulder blades back behind you. Then do the pull-apart. Pull it straight back, then pull apart. So we call this a scapular pull and we want to make sure that our shoulders go down and back and then we pull apart, okay? If you stay up in your neck, I have never in all my years had a guy or a girl come to me and say, hey, can you make me look like this? Okay, this is not a good look. I don't care who you are. So, shake that out. Lunge, lunge, squat. Three, two, one, hit it. You just doing squats? That's okay. You doing reverse lunges instead of forward? That's okay. Just know I'll always show variety, and you might have to be in charge of your own variety in the future, because if you're doing reverse lunges today, and we do reverse lunges tomorrow, or the next workout, then I don't want you to overplay one particular movement pattern. Because if you do that, you'll create a situation where, you know, you're not quite, nice job, you're not quite working your body to all its potential. All right. Overhead press. Okay, three, two, one, and we go. All right, pressing straight up. Nice job, everybody. Elbows are out, shoulders are down, pushing. Notice I'm going a little bit slower. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Form and function over speed. We're gonna go smooth and slower if we start to get tired, but we are absolutely not going to quit. Three, two, I'm gonna get one more. Come on, one more. Woo! All right, time to be sit. Time to be sit. Are you gonna do a hold? Are you gonna do a flutter kick? What are you gonna do? Everybody's got their own way, right? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Maybe we move our arms this time instead, okay? But I feel my body shaking because I am working very hard to keep my core engaged. Sure, moving my arms makes it a little bit more dynamic. It is what it is. Uh, come on, baby. Five seconds. We got this. Three, two, one. All right. Time for those push-ups. Now, let's say you have a challenge with these. Remember, you can do chest press. You can also do them on a table, you can do them on a couch, you can do them on the wall. Remember, you can do them on your knees. Right now, I'm in full military mode. Come on, just banging them out nice and slow. Very deliberate, very aware. Working hard, keep going. Move, move, move. Let's do this. Come on. Breathe out as you push up. Inhale as you come down. Three. Two, one. All right, single step walkouts. Okay, maybe you're gonna do side planks. I said those. <coughs> Whatever works for you works for me. Here we go. Three, two, 
We're going. Nice. All right, I'm working hard. Okay, so I could be here. I'm really pushing down and back. I'm really making sure that I'm doing great work. Pushing straight out. Come straight back in. Straight out. Straight back in. Straight out. Straight back in. Here we go. Five seconds. Come on. Four. Three. Two. All right. Fourth round. Got to pay attention to making sure that you do the move correctly. Three. Two. One. All right. So, we're making sure that our chest is up, our back is flat. We are staying out of our ears, staying out of our neck. Our head is pushed to the sky. Our shoulders are pushed to the floor. Our hands are chest height, shoulder height, directly out in front of the logo on my shirt. Just like I showed you in the first round. Four, three, one more, two, one, nice. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Five moves, five rounds. Hard stuff, right? We got the skater hops. Let's go, 30 seconds. You can do anything for 30 seconds. Anybody can do anything for 30 seconds. Doesn't matter to me if it's an easier move, but do it. Come on, come on. Big steps, big moves. Now's when you make a difference. Now's when you make that fat cry. You've heard me say it. Sweat is just fat crying, leaving the body. Come on. Eight seconds. Here we go, here we go. Four, three, two, one. It's Monday, baby. When we film this today, it's Monday. So we're working hard. Catch your breath, take a break. Let's get ready for our last round coming up. Let's wrap this bad boy up. Round five, five. We're doing five today. Woohoo! Starting off with some band pull aparts. Let's go, let's get this done. All right, now you're done for the day. You don't have to do any more working out today. Maybe you gotta work in the yard. Maybe you gotta clean the garage. Maybe you gotta go to work, whatever. But we'll get it done, come on, we can do this. Last round, three, two, one. Here we go, band pull aparts. You guys should know the order by now. It's only eight moves. Okay, it's technically only seven moves. We do one of them twice. So you can count that on two hands. All right, you don't even need your thumbs. Come on, really pushing those shoulder blades down and back. Getting down and dirty and into that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Ah, nice, we got this. Go, go, go. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, last round, so I'm gonna amp it up. Okay, I'm gonna do two jump lunges with a squat, okay? Wanna make it harder, add weights. Wanna make it harder, go faster. But I'm gonna keep my feet together and I'm gonna go lunge, switch to lunge, switch to squat and keep going. Lunge, lunge, squat, lunge, lunge, squat, lunge, lunge, squat. So I'm gonna get a lot more sets in because I'm not going as slow as I was before. Good, keep going. Lunge, lunge, squat. Lunge, lunge, squat. Really powering out those legs. Good, I got three seconds. I can do one more set. One, two, squat. Yeah, baby. That was good stuff. Come on. All right. Get that band set up. Overhead presses. Three, two, one. Here we go. I'm pushing. Going a little bit faster. Okay. Now. Notice I might be going faster, but I'm not using my neck, and that's why I stopped. I felt like my neck was kicking in, and that's no bueno. Come on, 10 seconds. This fifth set's gonna push you. This fifth set's gonna make you use parts of your muscles you didn't know you had. Three, two, one. Whew. All right, be set, okay? Let's get down. Let's get ready. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right. I'm just gonna hold. I'm just gonna hold. I'm gonna get quiet. I'm gonna really push my rib cage down and forward. My shoulder blades are back. I'm shaking. You may not be able to see it. Maybe you can. 
but I'm really feeling it. Like I am engaged and the only thing that's working right now is my core wall. Three, two, one. Oh. Now I'm gonna need those again for these push-ups. You are too. Let's do this, come on. Got four moves left. Okay, two minutes. Two minutes and we're done. Here we go. One, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. You with me? Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Woo! 20 it is. Single step core walkouts. Way to count them out. Way to do as many as possible. Here we go. Three, two, off we go. Step, come back. Come on, I know you're tired. You gotta work through it. Come on, you hear me breathing? You should be breathing too. It's hard, but you can do it. Work at your own pace. Shoulder blades down and back, come on. Almost done. Legs are, legs out, arms out. Come on, five seconds. Five, four, three, two. Last one on this side. Boy, oh boy, my heart's pumping. How about you guys? You feel it? Come on. If you're doing this during our 100 workout challenge, you're earning it today. Come on, here we go. Out and in, let's go. Doing your best work right now, come on. Keep going, keep pushing. Get out there, get out there. Come on, arms straight out. Elbows slightly bent but not active. Come on, eight seconds. Here we go, here we go, five, four, three, two, one, whew. All right, metabolic. Skater hops for me. What is it for you? Okay? 30 seconds and we're done. Here we go. Go, go, push, push. Big step. Come on, let's go. Give it everything you got. 20 seconds. Go, go, go. Halfway, halfway, push. Come on, everything you got, 13. Go, go, go. 10. Five, five, four, Four, three, three, two, two, one, one. All right. Whew. I know a lot of people usually take the weekend off, so that's why I make Mondays a little more challenging. Not always, but today we did. All right. Fast and Furious Five. Five rounds. That's what I decided to call it. Five rounds, eight. I was tough, but you did it. All right, so you're gonna see a link for stretching workouts right after this. Okay, reach out, go on over. Find one of the flexibility routines. Go through it, do some good work. Make sure you get your stretches in. I wanna thank you for being me here today. I wanna thank you for joining me. Make sure you stretch for at least three to five minutes. We'll see you next time, have a great day.